mean, a couple times they went up. You guys were able to equalize it, but uh, they pulled away in the second. Just how did you see it? Uh, we had a really good start, and well, we were buzzing there and then, you know, and uh, we did a lot of shots. We had a lot of uh, good opportunities. But uh, we just got to be aware around the net. Uh, we didn't really clean up the rebounds and stuff, but we had our chance. We just couldn't score. You know, there was. Uh, I feel like there was uh, a lot of goals game tonight, but we just we couldn't score tonight. How did you feel just about your game? You know, I feel pretty good today, and uh, I had a lot of energy tonight. I've been using my legs, you know, and I think uh, as a line we played really good. Uh, we played in the four check. We did a pretty good job on the walls, and we did support, you know, when. And you know, I don't know. It's tough to say tough loss, you know. It, you know, sometimes uh, you're not having that much opportunities in one game. You know, we had really like hell of chances. You know, breakaways and uh, can score rebounds and stuff. But it's kind of bad luck. The goal that was waved off. Uh, to South A bit of a like a frustrating night in that you know you, you well you had a nice goal there with with Puglia, but as the, as the night went on you know passes just seemed to be a little bit off and the pucks were hopping over people's sticks and stuff. Yeah, I, I think it, um, you know I think yeah that's probably because you know they're up by two. Uh, you know as soon as they get a two goal lead they they shut it right down. Um, you know I think if you go back and, and you look at our our power play in, in the second period and all the chances we had. I think uh, you know if we, we were able to bury one, maybe the game changes a little bit, and you know, they have to open up a little bit more. But um, you know they did a really good job of shutting everything down. When you guys clawed your way out of the first one and then the second one. When I get that third one, do you feel like in the second period it kind of sucked the wind out of your guys' sails, or do you like the response you guys had? No, I think uh, it was early. It's still in the second period. No one, no one uh, believed we were out of it by any means, and um, I don't think anyone really feels that way. Um, you know, it's, it's like I keep saying, it's, it's tough when they, they play that kind of style, but um, you know, we have the skill in here to be able to, to you know, bounce back after that kind of stuff. So um, you know, we wanted a better result, um, but it is what it is, and we'll regroup. Connor, you felt like a lot of pucks around their net and towards their net, but just not Schultz right there in front. And, um, I wasn't sure exactly where it went after him, so it was just sitting there, and the guy banged it in. So, um, I mean, four four tough ones, but I've got to be able to to battle a little bit harder in front of our net and, and try to make some of those saves and keep us in the game. Yep. Yeah. We just have to keep focusing on doing the little things in our games and, and focus on getting better throughout this next 23 games and until the end of the season. So um, we have to stay focused. I mean, like you said, there's still a lot of hockey left, and we have to be ready to compete in those 23 games or else it's going to get um, even more frustrating. So I think that if we can um, stay competitive, start stringing some wins together here, I think it's going to up the mood in here and, and uh, carry us to the end of the year. Yeah, you don't want to let it get away from you, I guess, it's because that's what things can really Yeah, things can unravel real quick if... Uh, if you don't stay focused, so uh, we have to make sure that we stay on top of that. And it starts with guys in this room, it starts with myself, and um, got to stay focused on doing the right things and playing the right way, and uh, things will turn around for us. I mean, it seemed like they had pucks around their net going towards their net, but either a lot of shots blocked or, or just opportunities missed tonight. Yeah, a lot of, like you said, a lot of block shots, a lot of miss, uh, uh, miss wide or miss the net completely. And um, it's not like we didn't have our chances to put, put it into. I think we were buzzing the first two periods, and then uh, um, it's just little things like that that's going to um, not make us win games. And uh, the 
at the beginning when they got their power play, I think they got a lot of momentum on it, and they just kept pushing. So, uh, I mean, you just feel a little bit the last three games, a lot of playing uphill. They haven't had the, the lead since the Toronto game. Yeah, it's frustrating for sure. I think if we can start uh, maybe a better start, maybe get the first goal and then uh, go on with that, and uh, we'll be in a better position. Um, Minnesota lately has been, uh, you know, pretty banged up. They haven't played their best hockey. And they came here tonight and they played and they uh, um, they won the game. So credit to them. They played well and we just couldn't uh, really finish on any plays we made. When a team like that has a lead on you and they're clearly trying to clog it up and make life tough, what kinds of things do you have to try and do to, to break through that? It seems like it's pretty frustrating. It is frustrating. They play a trap very well. I think uh, they've been doing it for years and they've been one of the best teams for for doing it and. For us, get the puck D, make him turn. Their D are stepping up big time, and um, if we just chipped it by him, we uh, we had speed. We, we could have got it back pretty uh, pretty good every time. So it's just it's frustrating. Once they got the lead, obviously they're gonna they look like they a little bit sat back, and then they uh, shut us down. Thank you. Good hockey right now. We're getting rewarded for it. And it's nice to see the the smiles on everyone's faces again, and having some fun coming to the rink. And uh, you know, it makes it, it makes it a lot easier. I think uh, the biggest thing is just the, the way we're working for each other right now and, and cheering each other on. It, it, you know, it, it's contagious and it's leading to a lot of success. Why do you think that's changed? Uh, I don't know. I, I think it's just kind of a, a fresh slate for everyone, a fresh start. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of guys had a, a lot of negative things going on. And, uh, you know, it's almost like a new season in, in a sense. So I, I think it just gave everyone a chance to, to start fresh and, uh, you know, just go out there and play. Uh, that save you made on Yakubov on a breakaway seemed like the turning point of the game. You know, that could have tied it up for a third time. Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we kind of got caught on a, a change there, and they made a nice play and, and sprung him. He's, he's fast with a lot of skill. I just tried to wait on him, and, and he pulled it to his backhand, and luckily I got a good read on it and was able to close him off. Left pad. Left pad, yeah. yeah. And all of a sudden, we feel we feel so good about ourselves. Our confidence is growing each game, and um, it's a huge road trip for us. Why do you think that's changed? I mean, why, why did one coaching change? Possibly? I don't know. I mean, my first time going through it, I I don't know. Um, Since you guys have had a lead, how tough is it to always be coming from behind? Uh, tough. Yeah, they, uh, you know, the power play obviously was a big part of, of their success, getting the two right off the bat. Uh, they seemed us a number of times, which we wanted to prevent, but we were unable to do that. So then they score on uh, some secondary chances in and around the paint. So credit to them and uh, obviously an area that we need to fix, but it, it played a big factor in the game. Ours had a uh, number of good looks, but we couldn't, uh, couldn't finish on them. When a team like that has a couple of goal lead on you and they, they start locking it down, what sorts of things do you have to do to maybe try and break through that? And, and do you think you guys did enough of those things? Uh, well, we didn't do enough. Um, or we would have found a way to get a couple goals. But uh, I thought we had some looks around the net tonight that, uh, that we didn't finish on. Some offensive guys that held on a little bit too long. But um, as they get the lead and 
teams clamp down, they set up their trap, it's tough to come through. So you've got to deliver passes on the tape. You've got to be receptive uh, or receiving the passes properly. And then if you have to give up the puck, you've got to be able to go in and get it again and um, give them credit. They did a, a real good job and uh, prevented us from, from having a sustained attack. We did have some, but not enough. Yeah, you popped in a very strong offense. He sure did, didn't he? He had a good game all over. Good for him, good for us. Um, I like what I saw. So, can we defensive plays in the second period for their goals? Is that how you saw it? Um, well, we talked about the first two. The next two were very weak net play. You know, we have to play with some authority in and around the blue paint. Uh, Cam makes a lot of real good saves for us. Um, you know, he's not going to be able to control every rebound. When he doesn't, we have to play with some authority. It can't be f a freebie getting to the, the Oilers' blue paint. So we have to do a better job of that. And I thought our back end did a her terrible job of getting the puck to the net tonight. I think we had five of uh, five of 26 or 27 shot attempts actually got to the net. And I know Darnell dumped a couple in from center ice, so I don't even count those. Your thoughts on the goal that was waved off? Um, told they had 100% control. So it's hard to argue with that. Um, do I agree with it? You know what, when, you, when we start winning more games, I'll start disagreeing with more calls. Great, thank you. Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't, but, you know, that's kind of situation when you uh, usually try to the net and um, dumps at a great shot and, uh, and there was a rebound, so uh, I could put it in. How has it been with Torch? I mean, obviously he's a guy you played for before, just, you know, these first few games, just what is the relationship like? Oh, it's been, it's been good, obviously. I think we have, we have played good and there's been a lot of energy on the bench and, uh, and, um, and I think, uh, you know, obviously, uh, it's been uh, mentally, it's always a little bit different, and all the guys have stepped up a little bit. So, um, uh, so it's uh, let's just try to keep this going. Five goals in each of the past three games. Torch said he wanted the team to play faster. I mean, it seemed like the team's playing faster and generating more offense with that speed. Uh, yeah, well, uh, we're, we're getting some chances. We're going north, and uh, obviously, our power play has worked too. So, that's a, that's a big key for that too. So, um, uh, hopefully, we can. Um, Keep, keep going and um, winning these games.